Yes, yeah, viewers, once again, we have been told that the federal government has moved from asphalt road construction now to concrete road construction. They have made it very clear. So it's not a matter of what he said or what he did not say. The federal government has made it clear now that across the country, they have moved from asphalt to concrete road construction. But I, I was meant to understand that this concrete road construction, you know, is, is majorly consigned in this southern part of Nigeria because of the kind of soil that we have here. You know, that kind of soil that doesn't uh, hold waters. Any small thing, it washes away. So that's why it is much needed, to me, it's much needed in the southern part of Nigeria, you know, than the north. Go north can still have it, but it is much much important in this part of nigeria however the issue of money or no money should not arise because that's why nature and god subsequently put all this uh, crude oil and the rest to take care of these things that is needed in this uh, southern part of nigeria i bet you to construct road in Bayesa is almost times two to construct road in the northern part of nigeria you can make inquiries, I'm sure of what I'm saying, because the type of soil, swampy, and the other you know, types of places that they have makes it more expensive. And according to Mahi, it is this type of road, that is concrete road construction, that is much needed in uh, this southern part of Nigeria, like an Anambra state, you know, where the soil you know, don't usually stay, it can easily be washed away. So the federal government has announced it and made it very clear. This one is not that Umay said or Umay did not say. This one is coming from the federal government that they have moved away from uh, asphalt to concrete construction. Well, um, we are going to have details of that and uh, you hear by yourself what uh, they talked about it concerning this uh, concrete road construction. Let's go there. So now, my people, let's hear it from the horse's mouth coming from the federal government. Nigeria moving away from asphalt to concrete roads coming from uh, the Guardian. The federal government has hinted that uh, it is moving away from uh, asphalt highways to concrete road construction across the country. The Minister of Works, Senator David Umahi, stated this in a lorry. Whereas states, where he led federal lawmakers and top government officials on a tour of a plant of Camstel Integrated Company Limited in Jimba Oja, a fellow Dun local government area. He said if you think of all the roads we constructed in Nigeria, you will discover that we are moving from asphalt to concrete for over 70% of our roads. Over 70% of our roads. In fact, all the roads we are designing now are being designed on concrete. Wonderful. The elected minister was overwhelmed by many steel products of uh, the Camstel plant and the employment opportunities it created, directed contractors working on the federal government project to henceforth patronize local manufacturers for construction materials. According to him, patronizing local manufacturers would help generate jobs and revenue for government and would also help in minimizing the insatiable quest for foreign products at the expense of locally made materials and in turn safeguard the nation's currency. What we have seen here is a kind of what you see in China and India. And we are so impressed with the massive scale clubbed with modern technology used to produce international quality products. 
it is something of great hope for Nigeria because in having road with concrete we must reinforce technology and you will see the multiplier effects. It is going to be in line with agenda, hope, courage and destiny of President Bola Tinubu, which he has brought to us. A lot of our contractors are already using local materials. From what I have seen today, and also the files that my directors reviewed, we have no hesitation by directing our contractors almost all to promote Made in Nigeria construction materials. Some of our asphalt roads don't last five years. And so with the concrete technology and with every raw material, every ingredient of road pavement sourced locally, a great value for taxpayers' money. So we are going to support local manufacturers and even getting our presence. If need be, we will even specify it in our procurement for contractors to source material locally so that we meet highest quality for our bridges. The Group Managing Director of CAM Holdings Limited, Dr. Kamuru Yusuf, who conducted the minister around the factory, said his firm is determined to ensure standard in all its products. He said that uh, his major preoccupation was for products coming from asphaltic to meet the international standard. Adding that the company's prime product, Elephant TMT, is export grade UK cares certified products being used for heavy construction activities like uh, high rise buildings, mega bridges, dams, etc. We are determined to make the end users to have value for what they are paying for. And that is our mission in the country. We are very sure that any contractor that uses our products, they always have good testimonies to say about us, Yusuf said. I think, number one, the construction method is very wrong. You do not use laterite to fill this road. It should have been sharp sand and the drainage on both sides to contain the sharp sand. This road is built to fail. So I suggest that the contractor should come and meet us. Um, the director South South should redesign the road. Our method is where you have an existing single carriageway. We want to turn it to double. We go to the middle of the road. We divide it and take some this side, take some this side. Then we are not talking of a lot of compensation. And moreover, it's an existing pavement with shoulders that is most stable building a brand new uh, carriageway. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to redesign it. I'm told that we are owing the contractor 4.5 billion. So let us review the job. Uh, put wearing costs in the place you have put uh, so, what, wearing costs where you are buying that you can see spelling. No wearing costs is allowed. Buying that cost is allowed without uh, opening it. This is, uh, this is a directive. And of course, we are not doing any surface dressing. Protect the ones you have done. The sidewalks you need to do, I'm told that there is a walkway. But if there is no drainage, we have to incorporate a drainage and no surface dressing. If you are walking to surface dressing, do not do it. Come back to us so that we can incorporate a drainage and a um, you know, walkway on top of the drainage. We can do that. But definitely, this contract, like I said, everything is wrong with it. 
even in the next 30 years with this kind of thing it is not achievable so we have to think about other sustainable source of uh, funding and what i would have done is to rehabilitate the existing one before we talk about yes gentlemen you have heard it and um one thing i want to add there is um this kind of uh, road construction just like every other construction need close supervision yes there are advantages of uh, um, concrete road source construction because almost all the materials are sourced locally unlike asphalt they used to import bitumen for asphalt road construction but this one concrete road source construction the rods cement everything they have been sourced locally and it's going to have a multiplier effect positive effect on the economy at large so but it needs a close supervision because contractors can mix anything and uh, you know start pouring in the name of concrete yes that's why i said it needs close supervision for the government to achieve that quality but they need to achieve well i don't know if uh, all this road construction whether i saw or the nigerian standard organization the sun whether they have say in need all these jobs are supposed to be supervised by sun standard organization of nigeria yes do they do it that is another angle of it the government have said about 70 percent of our roads have been designed to be concrete pavement well i'm going to leave you at this until i come your way next time i'm still chilling i say bye for now